Hey everyone, Mark here from Pine Tech. Today I'm going to be going over my compact holster for the Glock 43, Glock 43X, the Glock 43X MOS with rail. Uh, these will work with all those guns. They will actually work with all the Glock 43s. But very particular, the MOS with the rail. Now if you have one of these new guns and you use an old 43 holster, it will not work. That rail is larger down below. So it's very important that you get a holster that will work with the rail. Otherwise, this will not slide into a regular 43 holster. The 43X with the rail, uh, these, we got two options here. You got the full holster. So if you get one of these and you have future plans and, and wishes that you want to add to it, but that's not right now or in the foreseeable future and, you know, until that you need a holster, this will work for that. Again, the rail is the issue. This is gonna work. And as you can see, the regular 43 is gonna slide in there nice and neat as well. Um, now, if you get a 43X and you uh, MOS and you throw a RMR on it right away, then this is the holster for you here. This is the RMR cut. As you can see, it's got relief up top here, the top of the trigger guard, or top of the uh, sight channel for where the RMR mount stops and your RMR is going to be, as well as in the back, right at the top of the slide. A lot of times the RMRs are wider than the slide, so I cut the holster just below that line. That way, if it's a little bit wider, it's still going to work just fine for you. Pop this bad boy. If uh, you're new to my channel or my holsters, I pride myself on my attention to detail, just the edge work, the line work, um, the attention to detail as far as the edges go. This is going to be inside your waistband. It is very important that all the edge work is not sharp. There's no 90 degree corners. Everything's rounded and smooth and very shiny. I sand and polish and wax for good measure. All my edges, most of the time, building my holsters is really edge work. Um, so as you can see here with it in the gun, if you have a threaded barrel, this will also work. Uh, as you got passed through down the end here, so you won't need to change your holster or modify your holster if you get a threaded barrel later down the road as well. A couple very, uh, well, a couple things is we got a couple adjustable retention down here. So you can adjust the retention. You can have it come out nice and easy. You can really lock that down up to you. Um, along the back, goes up to the edge of the slide, not past the slide. Um, for a reason, if it gets past the slide, then you get like this just really sh edge of kydex that your skin wants to fight with and poke you. So uh, in my findings, it's really nice to have the um, kydex come to the back of the slide. Um, down below, if you are doing any sort of dry fire practice and drawing in your living room, whatever, um, very important to have this nice and fl uh, flush with the trigger guard. You don't want any overhanging kydex down here where your finger can scrape it because if you're doing this for half an hour and you're constantly drawing, you're going to really wear out your finger really fast You know when you're doing some aggressive draws. But yeah guys, this is my compact holster. Um, I got both this one and the RMR cut. It's going to be down below in the uh, links. I'll have a link right to my in-stock section in my store. I'm going to try keeping these in stock for you guys. So. Uh, it will bypass my five to six week or however long my lead time is when you watch this video um, and you can get these in your hands instantly. So I appreciate you guys watching my video. Like and subscribe. It'd be greatly appreciated. Also, you can find me on Instagram. Um, I'm going to try adding some more content, just some shooting. I'm really big into IDPA and USPSA. So if that's something you're interested in or you could possibly be interested in some competitive shooting down the road, uh, keep an eye out on my video. I'll post some match results and some matches and, and hopefully add some more content down the road. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Have a great day.